I know it's really tempting. You want to eat it right away, but it does taste to me a little bit better when it's cooled down. It's a Boston cream donut. It's not typically very warm. Coach Greg and I'm alone in the anabolic kitchen. Allie had to run off to work, but today we're making Boston cream donuts healthier than last time. 190 calories, 15 grams of protein each. We're making a four pack today. So stick around. I'm going to give you the exact ingredients, measurements, teach you exactly how to make it. And it's way easier than you think. You're not going to believe it when you try it, but this tastes as good or better than the real thing. Don't believe me? Wait till you try it. So I'm using 110 calorie Ben's buns. You can use the ones that you want. If they're higher in calories, just add a couple calories. My protein of choice, of course, it's harder than last time protein. I'm using a whey casein blend for this vanilla ice cream flavor. It's not available yet for you, but it is for me. So I'm using the vanilla one. You could of course use vanilla peanut butter. This is a whey protein. I'm going to be using whey and casein and in the cookbook, it explains exactly how to make it if you have a thicker protein. If you're using casein, it's thicker, whey, it's thinner, whey casein blend, it's somewhere in the middle. Okay, it's clearly labeled and this recipe is in fact in the Meatless Anabolic Cookbook. Okay, so first things first, you get out your baking sheet and you put on some parchment paper, in this case I used tin foil, and you spray it for a second. You just added 10 calories, but it's not going to stick. <laughs> Turn your oven on to 350 degrees because it's going to take a little while to heat up. And so while it's heating up, it's time to make the Bibi Babkas. Right, Balky Buddy? But it's part of the point by point process of baking Bibi Babkas, Balky Buddy, but we're not actually going to sing like the Balky Bartokomo sang. We're not singing the Babka Diddy. We're going to have to lose the Bibi Babka Diddy. <laughs> You all know the babka diddy, right? It's part of the point by point process of baking Bibi Babka's balky buddy butt. Five, six, seven, eight. When you're rolling out the dough, just make sure you roll it slow. When you make the dough too quick, Bibi Babka make you sick. When you pour the filling in, just make sure you wear a grin. And you smile at what you bake. When you roll it out the dough, just make sure you roll it slow. If you make the dough too quick, a bit beep bop can make you sick. When you pour the filling in, just make sure you wear a grin. When you smile and watch you bake, a bit beep bop can turn out swell. So we're gonna make the bibby bop does, but in this case, we're baking friggin' Boston cream donuts. Am I that old? Am I the only one that watched that episode? Notice I remembered the lyrics. I didn't practice or rehearse this before. First things first, we're gonna make the filling part. And how hard is this gonna be? Watch. We're gonna add all the ingredients in the bowl at the same time, and we're gonna mix it. That's literally how easy it is. Not fold in the wet and the dry and the fold and this and the All in the friggin' bowl and stir it. That's how easy it is. Bowl. One scoop protein powder. One teaspoon vanilla extract. 60 grams core cup, 0% fat-free Greek yogurt, tons of protein, gotta have this. <laughs> 60 mLs, which is a quarter cup, kuhweb. That's how you pronounce it, right? Kuhweb. Ask Stewie from that show with the guy. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? And do not make the mistake of measuring 60 grams. I said 60 mLs, a quarter cup. If you weigh out 60 grams, it's going to be a massive bowl. Cool Whip is lighter than water. I know you haven't passed science in school, but I used to teach it, and it's in fact lighter. So just because it says 60 mLs doesn't mean it's 60 grams. 60 grams, quarter cup of egg whites. And this actually weighs about 60 grams, not quite, but close. Five grams of cheesecake jello protein powder or vanilla, just pick one. And hopefully it's a white kind because you're making Boston cream donuts. And I said protein powder, but it's jello pudding powder. Five grams, it's a little bit, preferably vanilla, but whatever color you pick, it's gonna end up tasting all right. You wanna use chocolate, it's not quite the normal Boston cream, but I'm not discriminating based on the color 
of the pudding. Mix it now. So you mix it until it's mixed. That's exactly the amount of time till it's mixed, okay? You all wanna know how long till it's mixed. How long does that take until it looks mixed? Make sense? Put that over there for a while. We're gonna do the buns next. So we got our 100 grams of egg whites and then this in this bowl. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be dipping these buns for one second on each side. And then we're gonna fill it in with this stuff. And that's the stuffing that goes into making the donut. And I dipped it in too long, so I'm gonna dip this on the extra buns. So I'm gonna suck it in like this. Or you could put a little bit more egg whites, whatever you feel like. There's no freaking rules in guess where? The anabolic kitchen. So see, I just sucked it in. We all good, we got plenty. So as you can see, depending on the absorption level of the bun, it can suck in a lot of egg whites or a little bit. And frankly, the more egg whites you put in, the more anabolic your Boston cream donuts are. So if you want extra anabolic donuts, you can actually dip it in longer, but it might in fact affect the texture a little bit, but this is good, we made it. Next up, you gotta compress the tops of the buns so that you make room for the filling. So I'm gonna press my finger into these buns and not those kind of buns. She won't let me do that. Trust me, I tried. She won't let me go anywhere near that. She has Crohn's. She's not here to defend herself. <laughs> this is fun. If you have a family, have your kids, get your kids to help make these. They will enjoy pressing into the buns and making these and they'll probably enjoy eating them even more. So we have a lot of filling. So I'm gonna really compress all around this bun. Gonna make it have plenty of room to stuff it full. You may or may not like a lot of stuffing. If you like less stuffing, you could actually make five or six buns and put less in each one. It really depends on you. I like a lot of stuff in my donuts. So does Allie. So when I experimented, I tried making four packs, five packs, six packs, and I like to make the most amount of stuff possible. So I decided I'll go with the four pack. Time to fill up those buns. Don't you love shoving that stuff in there? I do. <laughs> So try to put about the same amount into each bun. If you put more in one, then just take some off the top and put some in the other. Very, very simple. And you can see, I like it pretty thick. If you like it more runny, then put more runny stuff, like the liquid parts, like egg whites, for example. Mm. Next up, we're gonna seal the buns. So place these on top and simply pinch around it with your fingers. As you can see, it's done, ready to go. And doesn't that look nice? All we have to do now, turn it in the oven, bake for approximately 10 minutes until it's golden brown, and you can eat. And now we play the waiting game. There it is. And there it is. I could have cooked it for maybe one or two minutes more, but it doesn't really matter. 10 to 12 minutes is typically how long it takes. 10 minutes in, it's ready. I'm gonna let it cool off and I'm gonna show you the results. Okay, the final step, we're going to top this with the swerve icing sugar. And there's several ways you could do it. You literally could just put it on a plate and, and sprinkle it. That would be good enough. Or you can spray on it briefly and just rub it in there. You can spray both sides. It doesn't really matter. Just get some icing sugar on there. There's a ton of ways to do this. Not rocket science. And there you have it. Finished results. Time to taste test. So good. And if you're extra fancy, you can get your sifter, put your swerve, tap it in there, really top that thing. I know it's really tempting, you wanna eat it right away, but it does taste to me a little bit better when it's cooled down. It's a Boston cream donut, it's not typically very warm, but if you can't wait, there's nothing wrong with eating it warm. I'm gonna cut into this 
Check out what this looks like. Hopefully you give this a try. Don't forget, harder than last time protein. You can purchase that by clicking the link in the description. My meatless anabolic cookbook. So many delicious recipes. So if you get the meatless cookbook, there's both vegan and vegetarian options. There's several different donut recipes. Some are vegetarian, some are vegan. Obviously you can't use egg whites if you want to be vegan. <laughs> Obviously, you can't use egg whites if you want to be vegan, but you can make changes and substitutions and use vegan protein powder that I also have at my website. Oh, and just reflecting, the show is called Perfect Strangers. I'm sure my twin and my brother would remember this. And basically, they were making the Bibby Bobcas and it was like this delicacy thing and it took them so long and they had a big order. And the guy was like, you know, he's singing while making the thing and it's like, it's part of the point by point process of baking Bibby Bobcas. And then his cousin is like, yeah, I get it. It's part of the point by point process of baking, baby bobkas, balky, buddy, but we got a really boppity baby bobkin diddy buddy. Got a really boppity bobkin diddy buddy. He had to, in other words, speed it up because he was singing the whole time. Every time he made a donut, he's like, we're not going to make thousands of donuts if we sing each time. And so they sped it up and they didn't sing the song. They didn't put love and care into it. And the freaking donuts, they exploded at the end because they didn't do them properly. They didn't put the singing and the love into the donuts. So when you make these Boston cream donuts, make sure you do them right. Coach Greg. Hopefully this helped. Give it a try. Let me know how much you love it. You're not gonna hate it. There's no way it's not possible. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset IP Pro. Please check out the bloops. Obviously the harder than last time supplements, including turkesterone and of course all this stuff, cookbooks, training plans, training books, all kinds of stuff. Click the link in the description. Until next time, I'm out. Mm -hmm.